Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I wanted to share with you some book recommendations because I get emails and messages and everything all the time asking for either recommendations or people will share some hormonal issue or cycle issue that they're having and they ask for advice and I always recommend some of these books or all of these books. So if you guys are curious about anything like cycle related, I have them kind of broken down into sections but I just wanted to share them with you today. So let's start with books if you're looking to get off of hormonal birth control or if you're curious about maybe some of the effects or you just want to learn more about it. I would definitely recommend these two books. I read these very early on and I love both of them. So one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books is The Pill, Are You Sure It's For You? And the reason I think I like this book so much is because while I was so grateful and still am so grateful that I had such easy access to hormonal birth control when I needed it, I wish I would have gotten more information along with it. I wish I would have known about possible side effects because when stuff did start happening, I wasn't able to connect the pieces right away. And it took me a long time to finally realize that, oh, it could be birth control that are causing all these problems. The pill is like, you can see I have it all, I have all sorts of little sticky notes in it. Going on the pill for skin problems, coming off the pill, fam, choosing contraception, canary and coal mine, skin issues, talking about contraception, effects on nutrition. Like, while there are so many amazing things that I learned from this book, I think the one thing that kind of sums it up, but also kind of blew my mind at the same time, is that hormonal birth control affects around 150 different bodily functions. And that might not seem that crazy, but just think 150 different bodily functions. And that is just mind boggling to me. Anyways, I absolutely, absolutely love this book. And I think anyone that is on hormonal birth control, thinking about getting on hormonal birth control, not to like tell you not to get on it, but just read this book to know what some of the potential side effects are. Not everything in this book is gonna affect everyone or affect people in a different way. Like there's things in here that didn't happen to me, but there's so much that it just made sense finally. And it was like someone put words to what I was experiencing. And it was something that I had so much trouble finding answers on online and all that stuff. So The Pill is such a good book. And I will link all these down below. The next book that I recommend for those curious about hormone birth control or wanting to get off is called Sweetening the Pill, and this one is by Holly Griggs Ball. I've talked to quite a number of the women that have written these different books, and they're all just fantastic people. And this one's very dog-eared, and I've got one sticky note, Recovery from the Pill. But this one is more of the history and the backstory to the pill and uh, birth control. But it's really, really fascinating how it kind of all came about. I view this one as more of like the backstory, you know, it's called How We Got Hooked on Hormonal Birth Control. And it's kind of, kind of that, like how it kind of came around to be and how it became so mainstream. And I just I recommend this one because it makes you, it makes you think. And while I recommend all these books that I'm talking about, um, if you're going to be charting or using FAM or any of that, like my number one book that I recommend for anyone interested in charting or FAM is Taking Charge of Your Fertility. I have the 10th anniversary edition. There's a newer edition that I want to get, but I just recently bought it as a Christmas gift for a friend. This is what I call like the FAM Bible because it is just chock full of information. This is what I got very, 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 very early on and I learned so much about this and for anyone that's curious about charting or anything to do with this world, like this is a must own book. Moving into three books that I recommend for anyone with hormonal issues. And I think these are just really nice things to have on hand. If you think back in the day of having a dictionary on hand or something like that, I love having these on hand for if something does come up, I can grab one of these and figure out what's going on and what I can do. So one of the, I think the first one I read was Woman Code, and this one is by Alyssa Vitti. And she had PCOS. I don't know if she technically still has it, but anyways, she got diagnosed with PCOS. They basically like told her, you know, all the things that come along with that, just kind of said like, you have to deal with this. And she didn't take that as an answer and went and got educated herself and healed herself of her PCOS or manages it or however you want to say it. And she has gone on to create a program and to teach people how to heal and manage their own hormonal issues like endometriosis and that sort of stuff. So anytime anyone comes to me and says, oh my God, I just got diagnosed with PCOS or endometriosis or this, that, or anything. I always say, pick up this book. It has like a strict diet plan in it. I know personally, if I had something that was kind of like ruling my life, I'd be willing to try something that was a bit stricter. It just kind of goes along with this idea that I think 
nutrition and what you eat and what you're putting into your body and doing with your body has such a big impact on so many different things and your hormones rule so much of that. Um, so anyways, women cook. The next one is one that I had because of the class I took and then I just kind of forgot about it and then I was flipping through books one day and I was like, wow, this has a lot of information on it. So this one is Fertility Cycles and Nutrition and you can see once again, I have all sorts of sticky notes on it. It covers PMS, heavy periods, PCOS, thyroid problems, premenopause, male and female infertility and much, much more like it just, it's pretty self-explanatory in the title, but I just, it's one of those things that I like to have on hand. Let's see, let's flip to a random page and see. Common causes of cycle irregularities and female infertility. Pregnancy and postpartum nutrition, like it's just filled with good things. And so I recommend that one. So the last one kind of in this realm, I actually have two copies of it. I have the first edition and the second edition, and it's the period repair manual. And this one is so, 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 so good. I absolutely love it. Natural treatments for better hormones and better periods. It just kind of, it goes through everything. And this one was actually the book that helped me realize that I had a progesterone deficiency, a luteal phase deficiency, whatever you want to call it, why I was having such short luteal phases and why I had so much premenstrual spotting. And it was because of this that I first tried zinc and something else and then eventually found Vitex, which helped me and healed my problem. And I'm so grateful for that. It goes through PCOS and endometriosis too. Restoring regular periods, heavy periods, progesterone deficiency, stress or illness, IUDs, loss of sex drives. Like it just has so much good stuff. Once again, like I think if you have a menstrual cycle, this book is a must have. And the final one I'm going to talk about today is The Optimized Woman. And I think this had a big role in changing how I looked at my menstrual cycle. And I'm talking about my cycle, not just my period. Using your menstrual cycle to achieve success and fulfillment. And she goes through the four phases of your menstrual cycle. Um, and she has, well, let's find the little chart real quick. The menstrual phase, she calls a reflective phase, follicular, dynamic, ovulatory, expressive, luteal, creative. And she goes through the different strengths and weaknesses of each of those phases. And it's something that I talk, I feel like I talk about frequently on my channel. And this is where like it all started for me. So reflective phase opportunities. And it kind of has a chapter on each thing. It has your abilities, what doesn't work so well, things to watch out for, strategies, full fulfillment. It helps you learn what you're best at at certain phases, how to plan your life and your work around that to achieve the most. I just think it's a really good book. So it's for you know people that are learning about their cycles and wanna dig a little bit deeper. I think this is a really great book. All right guys, so I talk about books all the time on my channel because I absolutely love books. I love going to books for knowledge and information, education, and these are the books that I reach for most often. And I've learned so much from them and they are books that I keep going back to. And I just highly recommend all of these. And if you're having cycle issues or you wanna learn more, if you wanna dig deeper, like there's something for most of that in here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to Femhead for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.